a Nissan Leaf is a great little car. Um, one of my uh, other hobbies is amateur radio. And uh, I've got a little mag mount antenna on the roof of the car. And uh, I like to better use my radios out when I'm out and about. But one thing I didn't count on was the, um, the amount of electrical noise the Nissan Leaf generates, unfortunately, in the VHF and UHF spectrum. Uh, I've got a cheap little uh, Chinese handheld radio here. And um, I can demonstrate that. Um, we've got um, a local repeater station here about 15 miles away. And I'm about to key it up and show you. So if I key up the repeater, G7 LNK checking access. There we can hear the repeater. There's a little bit of noise. I'll turn on the leaf. And look at the difference it makes when the leaf comes on all that noise. And that's that's without the uh, the actual car running. Just the inverter on the leaf is enough to knock quite a bit of the signal out uh, of the repeater, and it doesn't um, it doesn't get any better. Well, it doesn't get any worse when you're driving either. But um, it's a real shame because it kind of means the uh, the leaf isn't really uh, suitable for um, for amateur radio use in that sense. Um, I mean, I, I'm only I'm not grounding the aerial to the chassis of the car. That might help. I don't know, but um, uh, it's certainly not looking too uh, too good. So uh, the Nissan Leaf, fantastic car, but if you're a radio ham and you want to use your Nissan Leaf and draw, and use your radios inside the car, you might have to think of uh, of something else. Uh, not a deal breaker, I'm sure, for many, but uh, something to consider anyway.